Hi everyone, this is Kerem speaking and I'm running Tech Journal, which is covering global tech startup and sustainability stories. This is my new format, which is called In Short, and I'm handling, handling top three story tech, tech stories of the week. But before starting the video, I will have a request from you. I'll be happy if you subscribe to my channel. Okay, now let's get back to the video. And my first story is coming from Apple and the, the company is launching a, the new, a new service, service called, which is a, which is called Apple uh, Pay Later. <coughs> and the new service lets customers uh, split payments for purchases into four installments over the six weeks. And with the first installment due at the time of purchase. Apple Meets, Apple's users can also apply uh, for a loan uh, within the wallet, wallet app, ranging from $50 to $1,000. With, an, with no interest or any hidden fee. Uh, currently, Apple Pay Later is valid for select users in the, US, in the US with plans to uh, offer to, to eat all eligible customers over the following months. Apple users uh, will be able to track and manage upcoming loan payments in the wallet app. Any loan application can also be done in the app with no impact on credit according to the company. Let me add that the, U, uh, the US customers uh, can you, uh, use Apple Pay later at only online shopping. And my second story is about uh, Disney and the company is shutting down its uh, Metaverse uh, unit. The company laid off all of the members uh, which employed 50 people and uh, as a part of a broader uh, restructuring structuring process according to the Wall Street Journal. It was uh, over a year ago when uh, former Disney CEO Bob Chapek tapped company veteran Mike White to lead the team in its task uh, of uh, finding new interactive ways to uh, tell, uh, tell Disney's uh, in interactive ways tells to Disney stories using new technologies. While the rest of the team has been has lost their jobs, uh, Mike White uh, will remain at the company, though it's uh, unclear what the role he's taking on taking on going forward. And my last story and the third one, and it's about AI and HR. Uh, artificial intelligence could replace the equivalent of 300 million jobs, full-time jobs, according to a report, a very recent report by investment bank Goldman Sachs. Uh, it could uh, replace uh, a quarter of work tasks in the US and Europe, but it may also mean new jobs and productivity boom. Uh, and it could eventually increase the, to the total annual value of goods and services produced globally by 7%, uh, the report claims. And generative AI is also is a major advancement the, the report also added and this is all from in short and tech journal i hope this video has been informative to you if yes please remember to subscribe to my channel like my videos and post your comments below also turn your notifications to hear about the latest videos thank you for your time and see you soon with the new videos and bye for now